MMA. I'm Mark Gelson. This is my friend Josh Figured. And today I wanted to talk about uh, a particular foot sweep combination technique, which I find very useful. I found this very useful over the years. Uh, it involves a sweep across and then a pivot and a large sweep back. And this, uh, if you've seen the, uh, the solo uh, drills, uh, I, I believe I've shown this in the past, but I wanted to show the applications. So I'm sweeping and you'll notice that the bottom of my foot is up. I'm sweeping with the edge of my foot along the mat across. My weight is in the front on the ball of my foot so that I can switch and pivot quickly. So across, pivot, sweep. That's the motion. Now, there are quite a number of throws which begin with this kind of a sweep. And the Osotovari style sweep back uh, is applicable in every one of these as a combination possibility. So let's start with the most basic, the Ashibarai. So to do the Ashibarai, the advancing foot sweep, I'm coming across here. Normally I would sweep Josh's foot just as he's about to put his weight on the mat, but sometimes the timing is not correct. Uh, so I sweep, but he hasn't committed his weight to that foot. Sweep, his weight's not committed, so he just removes the foot. Right? What do I do from here? And the answer is I pivot and sweep. So doing that a little bit faster and more naturally. So you can see how this combination can be very effective. Um, now sometimes instead of being too early on the sweep, I might be too late and he's already planted his foot. So here, obviously I can't throw him because I can't remove his foot. Pivot, and now Uchimata works. It's the same basic idea. So once again at speed. Okay. Kosodogari. In Kosodogari, the little outer reek. I'm coming around the outside. I like to bring my opponent forward as I come. I'm pulling him down because I want a backwards reaction. When he reacts backwards, I sweep his heel. So I come to the outside and sweep. Obviously, he doesn't always fall. So he's able to regain his balance. Over room. Because I'm very close to him, Ogaruma is a natural follow up. Again, he may react differently. He may react by putting all of his weight on, the, on that foot and not recovering from the initial pull. In this case, this is not going to work at all. I'm going to come in and sweep through and move to tie the chair. Once again, full speed. Uh, another throw, which has that same basic footwork, is Uchigari, the minor inner reek. There are quite a number of ways of doing Ko Uchigari. Uh, I can be basically facing him and sweep cross, or I can turn to 90 degrees with a lot of pressure on his head and a big pull down. 
Both of these are effective techniques. Both of them have the same follow-up potential. So if I come in here, I sweep, and he removes his foot. <clears throat> or I come and turn, and again, don't catch the foot. So once again, the difference is the outside, where I'm doing an Oguruma style throw, or the inside where I'm doing an Uchimata style throw. Okuriyashi Barai, the sliding foot sweep, again, has that uh, sweeping trailing foot. Let's see what looks like. Okay, my Kazushi involves making him rise into the air. I bring my hands together, I push his elbows up into the air, his body will follow. So when he reaches the high peak in the center, that's when I want to be sweeping. Now, Okuriyashi Barai usually happens when there's a lot of motion going on. But if he's anticipating that motion, he can make a big point of fighting the Kazushi and trying to lower his weight and flatten him out. Not going to happen. So at this point, I feel that resistance. I'm going to pivot and turn. Osoto Guruma. Maybe a different angle. And then again, it's me here. The other throw, which involves that kind of a sweep, is Orai Tsuri Kuriyashi. Sweeping, lifting, pulling foot throw. In this case, I'm going forward and again trying to bring his elbow and collar together and lift him into the air while I'm pulling him towards me. Ideally, I want to sweep one foot into the other foot. But this throw, it's very easy to miss. He may miss the first foot entirely, uh, and once again, once he feels me trying to push him up, he can try and flatten out, lower his center of gravity. Here, I'm stuck. Pivot, sweep. So there are five different examples of how you can use the sweep followed by the very big, big sweep. So I highly recommend practicing this so it becomes part of your muscle memory. Okay, if you've enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe to our channel, Ser Yoku Zedyo, Even Maximum Efficiency. If you click on the bell, you can get the videos as soon as they are posted. Thank you, Josh. Sure.